Hey up guys, so I've just uploaded a video onto YouTube, uh, if any of you listen to it. It is a little sample of a metal song I'm working on. Uh, as you currently see, this is the kind of setup that I use. I'm a PC there, uh, some guitars there, a bass, and a ukulele. I've got that for Valentine's Day, for our last. <laughs> it's quite amusing to play on. But anyway, uh, I'll just show you my quick setup of how I actually managed to get a decent recording from such minimal equipment. Uh, I've got my Marshall 15 watt amp, uh, it's not a great deal of size but it works, it's got a great tone and everything. Uh, and then I use my Boss ME50, currently got it with some chorus on because I've just finished recording the solo, for, well, the melody, it's not a solo to take but it's just a melody. Uh, I didn't use any of them guitars on the recording but that PV one there is very nice. Sounds very nice and acoustic. That shine one's broke, I need to fix the string. I've got my bass, my Ibanez uh, Geo Sound Gear bass with active pickups. And my Gould Les Paul, can't see it because it's matte black, it doesn't really reflect well, but that's what I use for my recording and it sounded nice. And yes, that is a Gears of War Golden Lancer there. Schwing. Anyway, I used this microphone. It is a dynamic microphone, as you can see, and it's an Itachi. Camera focuses on it. Top screen. It is an Atachi. Hang on a second. Let you be able to see it better. It is an Atachi HMP 606. Uh, I don't know how much it costs normally brand new, but I won it off eBay for 13 quid and it sounds shit hot to be honest with you. It records really well. Some more pedals here, which uh, I never quit and I don't really use anymore. A makeshift sound screen for vocals. I can't really sing me then, but it's a close up with a sock covering it and then a little hook to hook onto the microphone so you can actually hold it. So let me set it up and I'll show you that. If you wanted to sing, if you wanted to do your thing like that. I don't know which way around is it. You know, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's plugged directly through a MIDI cord or an XJR cord, whatever you want to call it yourself, into an M Audio MIDI input with little switches so you can adjust your microphone volume and things like that. And that's powered by a USB and that's plugged into the back of my machine. And it'll pop up on Windows right here as a recording device, so you need to change it that to your default recording device. And how I did the drums, as you can see, I haven't got a drum kit at all and I can't well I can play drums a little bit but I can't play it that well. But I used uh, Fruity Loops. I mean, most people such as Bass Hunter, they use that for the dance kind of shit, but I used it to just do some drums. I downloaded a plugin from a torrent, Naughty Naughty, because I don't want to pay. It's called Easy Drummer, and it's it, that's pretty shit hot as well. And I'll just run through the little drum sample here. So I've got me, I use that so I can actually do my guitars on the top with that. Did it a bit. And then is a bit annoying and then it kicks into the triple part where it goes and if I click onto that now and I go onto the sampler you can see how it actually does it and that's how it does a drum beat oh just got a message off a lass uh, anyway uh, you can also if you've got guitar pro you can uh, download your guitar pro tracks and then you export the drum sample as a midi file and then import it into Fruity Loops and then change the original sample into the EXE drummer and then it'll change it so it sounds a bit more realistic and it's got different kind of mixes here so you can actually change things about it so you can change how the hi hat sounds, how the bass sounds, how the tom sound if you use your toms and so on and so forth and then yeah I have instead of using Pro Tools because I don't want to download that and I don't really know how to use it and I can't be asked to learn how to use it because how I, what I use so far has worked fine for me so I export it as in a MIDI track, uh, and then I drag it into this program which is free. If you go to Google and type Audacity, I might put a link on this section for you to go just click on it. But I use that for my tracks. As you can see, I've got my, ba uh, my drums, my guitar intro there, left guitar, right guitar, the feedback intro thing, 
and that's my bass I think and that's also the melody that goes over the top and just export that as a MIDI but you need to get the plugin from the Audacity website to export it as a plugin otherwise you'll just be exporting it as a WAV and that takes up far more memory up to like 100 megabytes per file when you can just have an MP3 that takes up to 4 but uh, sound quality is decent uh, I mean, it sounds alright I mean, watch the video yourself on YouTube as I've said uh, and on another note I've got another channel, If you, I might put a link somewhere near my face, uh, it's called One Life Remaining, it's a new channel, I hope you guys actually subscribe to the channel and have a look, uh, I want to try to get in as many subscribers as I can so I can actually bring better material onto this channel for you, uh, I'll be reviewing things like music and that like I've already said before and games and so on, uh, and demos, I'm going to download Steam for the PC and sample some demos so I'll be able to actually try them and review them. Uh, <coughs> also unmusic related. For the Xbox 360 they are releasing Bullet Storm Bullock Bullet Storm for the Xbox 360 and also the PS3. Now the PS3 version is uh you don't really get a beta version or anything but if you get the epic version of uh Bullet Storm for the Xbox 360 you get a Gears of War 3 beta so you can actually play that as well. I don't know if it's an online beta or a single player but most likely on most game releases that are beta it will be an online and hopefully you guys or me, if I can actually get the pennies to pay for it, uh, I'll be able to get that beta and also play on beast mode and kick some ass with some locust and be a bit naughty against the the human coalition, the COG government. Uh, also, a pretty sweet album that I want you guys to check out. If you like heavy metal or anything like that, check these guys out. They are from Sweden. Uh, they're called Sabaton. They played at Sheffield where I live and they're just doing a, a worldwide tour and they are really good. I mean, there are plenty of tracks that you can check out if it so focuses on it. It's a bit of a shiny. Check out Coat of Arms, Uprising, Screaming Eagles, and also from all the versions of their albums. Try uh, Primo Victoria, Ghost Division, Atreo Dominatus, and things like that. Just have a look on YouTube, and honestly, they are shit art. I mean, really are good. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'm getting a little bit more confident with the videos. But I don't know if I sound like an ass on them. Uh, but. I don't particularly give a flying coot. But, oh, I've got a message. Anyway, uh, best be off because I need to get things ready for our last when she comes home for Valentine's Day. Uh, Going to cook her a meal and that. But thank you very much for your time and have a nice day. And please subscribe, comment, rate, and do whatever you normally do. Uh, but thank you very much and bye bye.